Today we're going to be discussing one of the basic ways to get smooth cinematic footage and that discussion is coming up right now. What's up guys, Delonte here. Welcome back to the channel. This is the very first episode of Filmmaking 101 where we go over tips and tricks to help you make better videos. Now in this particular video, we'll be going over the 180 degree shutter rule. Now some of you may be very familiar with the 180 degree shutter rule, but for those of you who aren't quite familiar, this is one of the mandatory basics to learn if you want to get smooth cinematic footage. Now on this channel, we go over audio, video, and photography. So if you're into content like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into it. All right, so the 180 degree shutter rule is a principle that talks about how the camera's shutter speed should be double the frames per second the video was shot in. For example, if you shoot a video at 24 frames per second, 24 times two is 48. But since we generally don't have 48 in our shutter speed, the next one above will suffice, which is generally 50. So 24 frames per second, 1 50th of a second and the shutter speed will give us smooth cinematic footage. The same can be said at 60 frames per second. 60 times two is 120. But since we generally don't have 120 in our shutter speed, the next one above will suffice, which is generally 125. So 60 frames per second, one 125th of a second on the shutter speed will give us smooth cinematic footage. If you use something like 24 frames per second at one 125th of a second on the shutter speed, the video will come out looking weird. For example, so here we have a video that was shot at 24 frames per second, but with a shutter speed of 1 125th of a second. Now compare that with this video that was shot at 24 frames per second, but with a shutter speed of 1 50th of a second. You see the difference? The video that was shot in 1 125th of a second looks weird. It has a lot of dynamic motion, but it's a plain, normal scene. It doesn't look anything like what we would generally see in the real world. Now here's the same video shot at 24 frames per second, but at a shutter speed at 1 30th a second. Once again, this video looks weird, kind of blurry, right? So in general, the 180 degree rule aims to ensure there's smooth motion in your video. I mean, since the camera is flashing images so fast to make you think that it's actually moving, the 180 degree rule aims to provide a simple and efficient principle to assist you and getting smooth cinematic footage. All right, so this is a general rule and there are some exceptions. For example, action shots can actually benefit from higher shutter speeds and romantic shots can actually benefit from lower shutter speeds. But since this is a basics 101 video, sticking to the 180 degree shutter rule will save you a lot of frustration when making videos, especially if you are just starting to actually learn your camera. Now, this one simple video will not make you a master at getting smooth cinematic footage. There's a lot to learn in this. There's ISO, there's aperture, the shutter speed, and how all three need to work together to actually get smooth cinematic footage. There's the editing process, there's color grading, Filmmaking 101, we plan to go over each and every step in separate videos just to make sure you're not overwhelmed in one big video. Now, if you wanna learn more about audio, video, or photography, click any of the links you see listed here. But what do you guys think? Something I missed? Something you wanna add? Leave a comment below. Like the video if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when the next video is posted and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.